EUCS Students Workplace Interviews. Hello and welcome to EUCS Student Workplace Interviews, episode 6. This is Amrei. And this is Sarah. And today we have a special guest, Florian. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, and moin. I'm Florian. I'm in the third semester of EUCS and I'm usually in Flensburg. But right now I'm in the south of Germany where I'm from originally. Flo, today you're here because you have a job at the university. Please tell us all about it. What is your job? What are your tasks? Yes, it's true. Um, I'm a tutorial teacher for critical thinking. And I was teaching now for the first semester students for half a year for one semester. The tutorial, everything online was quite a challenge, but also a lot of fun. How is it to give lessons online? Do you... Have to prepare a lot? Are you provided with stuff? How is it going on? And how is it to teach? <laughs> yeah, that's, it was actually a lot of fun because it was uh, my first time at the teaching side in front of the laptop. So I had to improvise, but then you get also used to it. You are preparing the PowerPoint slides, you do your intro, and then it's always kind of the same, but you are presenting a new topic. Yeah, the interesting part, of course, are the discussions then because it's a tutorial. Yeah, it's cool to hear that you also get to experience the opposite perspective. I mean, most of us are only used to being students, but we've never actually learned how it is to be on the lecturer side. Um, but how did you get this job? Well, actually, I, I asked Professor Raimut, and then he, yeah, I got the job via the professor directly. And yes, so now I'm I'm doing basically the other side what I've and, and teaching what I've learned in the first semester. And the interesting part is that you can really understand the professors. For example, when you enter this, this WebEx room and everyone has turned their cameras off. That's really annoying because you can't see the people. It's, it's really hard to get into a discussion then. Or also if, if everyone is muted and you are asking a question and no one answers and then there's this awkward silence, that's really painful. So you can really understand that. So it's, it's a challenge, but I think it's, it's also nice because UCS is such an international program and then you realize that uh, you're talking with someone that is sitting in, in Canada and the, the other one, in a girl in South Africa, for example. And there are people there uh, with different native languages sitting in countries with different time zones and we're all discussing the same topic. Yeah, that really is uh, one of the great things about the EUCS program. Yeah, so I think you already answered this question a little bit, but are there any other things that you feel like you take away from your job now that help you also for your own studies? Yeah, what, what are the benefits of your job? I think it helped me a lot to understand the methods of critical thinking better. And that's actually something that is really helpful uh, because it helps a lot in, in writing an essay later on or in having a political discussion when you're back home, for example. <laughs> If you want to explain your relatives what, you, what you're learning. Uh, that's also nice, of course. But I think it's, it's also really nice to to have the courage to teach something and to speak uh, in front of other people. That is something that's not so easy. And especially with, with WebEx, when everything is online and you don't see the people, I think anxiety rises. But nevertheless, it's, it's really important to keep in touch. Thank you very much for this insight. I can imagine it to be really hard, but also really interesting and also giving on one side. Do you know what you want to do in the future yet? Could teaching be a part of that? I love the question. I think that is the, the number one question of our study program. What will you do in the future? Well, the beauty of EOCS is that we can do everything, almost everything at least. And I also want to leave that question open for myself. Let's see. I love to be in a university. I love the university atmosphere. And that would, of course, be great to continue with that in the future as well. That was a perfect answer, I feel like. <laughs> Flo, <a magic> answer. <laughs> Flo, thank you very much for this interview and your answers. It was really interesting. It was especially interesting to get an insight from the lecturer's side. And we will remember to turn on our cameras and to take part actively in the discussions to make it easy for the lecturers as well, who also struggle in these hard times. So yeah, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much for participating, Flo. Uh, yes, thank you a lot for the invitation. Thank you for being here and see you next time. Bye. Bye.